Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. It's Wednesday, so we're gonna check on Cassie Mendoza and see what she has in store for us. Of course, closing this vendor reset down. We all know that Danny and Cassie are unlockable by talking to the snitch. If you don't know where the snitch is, I will leave a video on the screen right now. A few easy spots, you will definitely, definitely find them. If you can't find them, the only thing you have to do is just log off your game and then log in again. Then the server will be reset it for the snitch and you can search for him again. But enough intro, let's dive right into Cassie and let's see what she has in store for us. And there we are at Cassie, the mechanical animal and the names Alps backpack are for sale here. Again, the mechanical animal is definitely a very nice buy because it already comes with damage you target out of cover, almost maxed out assault rifle damage and then with Future Perfection. Future Perfection is a very interesting talent, especially after TU20. It got buffed, so if you don't have it yet, definitely pick it up. Then jumping over to the Shield Splinterer, and this comes with maxed out Assault Rifle, maxed out Headshot Damage, then of course that Perfect Optimist, but only 7% health damage, so it isn't the best one. It looks very good, but you don't really want to go into that headshot damage, so you want to roll that away for some damage you target out of cover, for example. And then it's going to set you back a lot to optimize that last 14% of health. So if you don't have it yet, you can definitely pick it up. But remember, it will set you back in optimizations. Then over to the Hunter Killer, and this could be a nice buy. Hazard protection and critical hit chance already on there, and then of course... Perfect Intimidate. So you could roll even to a red. So remove that armor for a weapon damage core. If you want to of course build into hazard protection build with crit chance. If you don't see the shield splinter or if you don't see the hunter killer at Cassie Mendoza. That means that you need to take out all the hunters that the game has to offer. For the shield splinter take out all the year one hunters. They will drop 8 keys for you. With those 8 keys you can open up a box in the white house. After you open this box up the shield splinter will pop out and it will always be for sale at Cassie Mendoza every single week with different roles. Same for the Hunter Killer, but now take out all the year two hunters. These were the hunters that were introduced with Warlords of New York, the DLC of the game. Take the hunters out, they will drop eight keys for you as well. Go into Haven, open up a box, the Hunter Killer will pop out. And then after you open that box up, the Hunter Killer, just like the Shield Splinter, will always be at Cassie Bendoza with different roles every single week. And that's how to find them if you don't see them yet. Then over to the Backpack of Eclipse with 7.8% Explosive Resistance. Chest of Umbra, 6.5% weapon handling. Glass of Umbra, 15% weapon damage and 4% crit chance already on there. So you could optimize that crit chance. I would do that so you can always roll that weapon damage away for an armor core if you ever need it. If you think, nah, Umbra is never going to be armor for me, then roll that critical hit chance so you can always change that attribute. Knee pads of ongoing directive, 7.7% headshot damage, holster of eclipse with 4.2k armor generation, mask of hunter's fury with almost 4k armor generation and 13.3% weapon damage. So if you don't have the hunter's fury mask yet, it's a very, very nice set. Then pick it up, roll it armor generation away and you only have to optimize 1.7% of weapon damage. Socom MK16 with Ignited on there, rest isn't really great. If you want to keep Ignited on there, then I would roll that reload speed away. Card 45 could be a lot better, comes with Steady Handed. Backpack of Bellstone with Safeguard, Repair Skills and Hazard Protection. Knee Pads of Seska, Rainbow Roll, Skill Damage, Arm Regeneration, Weapon Damage, and then the last, the two mods, 10.4% Critical Hit Damage and the 9.1% Radius for your Pulse. Kinda nice radius though, I'm not gonna lie. But that's pretty much it 
quick and easy video showing you what Cassie has in store for us and of course telling you how to find Cassie and or Danny. Don't forget to go to Danny as well and let me know in the comments down below what you picked up at Danny or at Cassie. Are there a few things you can pick up? Or are you leaving it this way just like me? Because in my humble opinion, Cassie has been a little bit trashy in the last couple of weeks. But that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for sticking until the end. If you liked the video or helped you out in any way or form, make sure to like this video. And if you're new here and or you want to be updated about the Division 2, the Division Universe and the future Division 3 because it is announced, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Pure Prime out.